Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave and this is episode 17. Today we're going to look at different ways you can die in space. I don't know that I'd want to die in space after taking a look at these, at least in this way. You take a look and tell me what you think. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Now this is Vladimir Konarov. He's the first human to ever die in a space-related accident. It was April 24th, 1967. Vladimir Komarov was a Russian cosmonaut. He was launched successfully into orbit on a Soyuz 1 capsule. He orbited 19 times around the Earth and then performed a manual re-entry. The re-entry performed as expected. The problem was the main braking parachute failed to deploy and the capsule crashed into the ground. He was reported to have been cursing out the capsule as he hit the ground. Knowing me, I'd probably be doing the same thing, probably worse. It's actually easier to die than it is to live in space. I personally would prefer to live. Without your space helmet, Dave, we're going to find that rather difficult. Hmm, okay. Thanks, Hal. There are actually many ways to die in space and on other planets. Over the years, Hollywood has been great at showing us how they think you would die. Houston, we have a problem. From people's faces swelling up and eyes bulging out on Mars. <laughs> to freezing solid or even exploding when you're exposed to the nothingness of space. Or even suffocating when you run out of oxygen. I can't let you die, I'm sorry. What, what are you doing? Laviani. No! No! God, no, I love you. Wait! Down! Wait! Wait! Don't! No! No! Please, God, no! Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately, these aren't entirely accurate. If a human was exposed to the atmosphere on Mars, they wouldn't swell up like Arnold did on Total Recall. Even though, well, Mars is a pretty unpleasant place. First, it's pretty darn cold, and there's very, very little oxygen or even gravity on the planet. There actually are times on Mars it can get as warm as to 80 degrees Fahrenheit near the equator, but most of the time it's pretty darn cold. The average annual temperature on Mars is minus 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the Martian winters, it can drop as low as 199 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. That's a little colder than most of us are used to. Even with that, you're not going to go bug-eyed without a helmet on. So what would happen on a nice summer day at the equator if you stepped outside without your spacesuit on? Well, even with that blistering warm temperature, the initial impact would be from the low atmospheric pressure. It is nearly a vacuum compared to Earth. Within seconds, the organs would rupture. Any liquid on the surface of your body would vaporize. This would include your sweat, your saliva in your mouth, and the tears in your eyes. All would vaporize instantly. All the gases in your body would try to find a way to escape. Even though your skin is probably strong enough to hold that back, the internal damage would be pretty extreme. In short, you'd pass out in about 15-20 seconds and die within a minute to two minutes at the most. 
I think that last 20 seconds that you were conscious would be pretty unpleasant. So in my book, that doesn't qualify for first place on the way I want to die. Elon made a quote that he wants to die on Mars, just not on impact. I personally think impact would be more pleasant than that. At least it would be over quickly. Lack of gravity can be another issue. As you can see here, the lack of gravity can cause some real problems. Like in these scenes from the movie Passengers, the water in the pool doesn't stay where it belongs when they lose gravity on the ship. This one's probably a little more on the accurate side. Of course, for this to happen, you'd have to have simulated gravity. That's a whole nother issue. The following are heroes that lost their lives in spacecraft in the pursuit of knowledge. On January 28th, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger STS-51L was destroyed during ascent due to an O-ring failure killing all seven members of the crew. This included Christian McAuliffe, a teacher from Concord High School in New Hampshire. This crew died below the Kármán line, so these are considered space-related deaths, but not in-space deaths. There's been a total of 10 deaths above the Kármán line. The Kármán line is considered 51.9 miles above the Earth's surface. So these deaths are considered deaths in space. On June 30th, 1971, there was three cosmonauts killed when they undocked from the Russian space station in Soyuz 11. They were killed when a cabin vent valve opened by accident and the cabin decompressed. In February 1st, 2003, there was seven people killed in the Columbia disaster. The shuttle burned up on re-entry due to some heat tile failures. I hate to say it, but with space travel becoming more commonplace, deaths like this could possibly happen again. So tell me, if you had to die in space, how would you prefer it happen? Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. You see these guys here? These guys are pretty amazing. They're what keep me going week after week. These are my patrons. They're all the leaders of the mob. I consider them all special people. The mob is Team Mars or Bust, and Team Mars or Bust is going to have some really cool things happen this year. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check out the details in the description below. Hey, yeah, Elon, don't forget, man, we got some things we need to discuss. We'll meet for coffee. Have your people contact my people. And don't worry about bringing your wallet. It's on me.